Hi, welcome back. It's question number eight. So let's have a look what it says. It says, for the lever shown in the diagram to be balanced, the length shown as X should be. So we're talking levers, touching upon structures, but very simplistically. So let's just draw it out on the board and remind ourselves what we got. So we've essentially got a bit of a seesaw thing going on. But that describes most levers, you know, whether you're prizing a floorboard or getting a boxing off or something. This is something you have to have a basic understanding of. Otherwise you're gonna destroy floorboards and destroy boxing and basically just spend ages fixing things. So, you know, understanding that you gotta prize these things open rather than do them all in one go. Um, that, that's why this is in the syllabus. But what have we got? We've got a, I mean, they have got weights. So I'll just draw these little weight things. I've got five kilograms this side. And we've got another one here. And that's 15 kilograms. We've got a distance this side of two meters. And what we don't know is the distance this side. So let's just have a look at this system. What's it gonna do? So we've got two weights here. We've got fixed point in the middle. And this one is gonna want to kind of rotate that way. And this one is gonna rotate that way. Rotational force like that, what do we call that? We call that torque. So we're trying to measure torque on each side. Um, and if we can balance that, uh, then we've balanced this system. And then any more mass on either side would raise it or lower it. So torque is measured in Newton meters. And that is kind of all we need to know really because of the glory of SI units. It's telling us our equation as well. So Newtons are a measure of force. And we've got nothing here, so we're gonna, um, you know, that's being times. And a meter is a measure of distance. So to get torque, we've got force times distance. Now what we've got is mass. So let's just write out, yeah, let's clean that up. So on this side, we've got a force times distance, and on this side we're gonna have a force times distance. Now there's another thing we gotta know, and that is that we're assuming that this beam is infinitely strong. It's not deforming or, or bending in any way, it's, it's this ridiculously impossible piece of material. We're also not taking into consideration the weight of the beam, um, but as I said, this is kind of just a uh, way of giving you a basic understanding of levers, really. So we've got um, a base equation going on now. We've got force times distance this side, force times distance this side. We've only got mass and distance here, so let's think about that first. So force is mass times any acceleration applied to it. Otherwise the mass would just stay in space-time, wherever it is, unless there's some, th um, some kind of accelerating uh, something applied to it, it ain't going anywhere. So in this case, what would that be? That's going to be gravity. So we've got 15 kilograms times, now gravity is 9.81 meters per second per second, however, Sometimes City and Guilds and EAL and, and actually a lot of engineers um, round up to 10 for gravity. So if you're doing a multiple choice question, just be careful about that because you don't want to answer it wrong 
even though you're right. So if, you know, the answer can only uh, be gotten by rounding up to 10 for gravity, then that's probably the answer. But anyway, I'm gonna go with uh, this and answer it this way, um, because that's what gravity is. Uh, it does vary around the world, depending on how far away you are from the center of the Earth, but on average, we're about 9.81. Uh, incidentally, you might see this written in different ways as well. So you might see meters per second per second, or you might see it like that, but they mean exactly the same thing um, in the same way as one over X is equal to X to the minus one. And that's where that comes from. So we can solve for force this side and I will because it will just keep the transposition a bit clearer later. So 15 times 9.81 will give us our force this side and that is 147.15 newtons. And we've got our distance as well. So actually we can complete this whole side and replace that with what we just calculated. 147.15 and that is times by the distance of two meters. So this side is going to be times, oh, I could have done that in my head, 294.3 newton meters. Okay, so I'll leave that there for now, I'll just try and tidy that up a little bit. So that's this side completed. Let's have a look at this side. And again, we can turn this mass into a force by applying the acceleration. So we've got five kilograms times by 9.81 meters per second per second. Five times 9.81, we get 49.05 newtons. Now we don't know the distance so we can't complete this but we can we can transpose it. So let's get rid of that. I'll put all this in the summary slides so you can kind of pause it and see the work in progress. Uh, and I'm going to get rid of that as well just so we can all focus on the bit that I'm Wanting you to. Here, so in the question, this is x meters. So I've left it as d in here, so you don't get confused with this x, but this is distance, and that is representing this x meters, but this unknown meters. So all we gotta do is isolate d, and that means getting rid of this. So do the opposite function by itself in time. So we're gonna divide by 49.05. And then we're going to copy it this side, 49.05. And then we can cancel, and that leaves us with an equation. And I'm going to turn this back into x now. So I hope you can follow what I'm doing now. 49.05. So d is x, x is d, okay? I'm trying to find this distance. So this distance is going to be equal to 294.3 divided by 49.05. Let's see what it is. 294.3, 49.05, 6. It's 6 meters. Now just having a look at that system, could we have got there without the transposition mass? Well, probably actually, because we can see that because we've got gravity applying on both sides, they actually cancel out. So we could probably solve it um, without applying the gravity. So we've got two distance times, you know, the thing that's going to be applied with the acceleration. So we could say two times 15 is 30 that side. And, you know, what, what is it 
times five to get 30. Do you know what I mean? You, you can kind of see these simple ones sometimes, but if not, follow that procedure and you always get your answer. So there we go, the answer is six meters. Question uh, eight, done. See you later.